Hi. Today we're not exactly out at the range, though we're going to be looking at some videos that I took while at the range. Some friends of mine go out hog hunting once a year and use night vision. We've been having a discussion on different IR lights and different scenarios using IR lights. So I went out one evening and played with some different IR lights that I have to take a look at what we get. Right now you're looking at the range as you normally see it during the daylight time. This is not the best night vision setup because I'm shooting down a hill with another hill as a backdrop, which is great for target shooting, but as you can see that you have nothing but ground to look at and no horizon, not really great for night vision, but this does kind of give us an idea of what it looks like. Here we are looking at the different IR illuminators that I tested on this video. The T50 is what I've used for the last couple of years, although after this video I will probably be switching over to the ATN Excite HD light that I got with my original uh, Excite HD and some of the other IR illuminators put out at a feeder. Now the other lights I use, the 850 nanometer IR illuminators, I got from Amazon just recently and they're handheld IR18650 uh, flashlights. The one next to it with the box currently magnet to it is also an 850 nanometer light that a friend made that has a daylight sensor switch modified to it so that you could put it out on the feeder and not have it on during daylight time but would be on once it gets dark. Now on the far right is a 96 LED IR illuminator that I got from Amazon wasn't that expensive and on the bottom left it has a daylight sensor on it too. We're going to go over here now and watch the video I shot. Now the one thing to realize is that on the video is on the lower right is a target stand at 50 yards and I put two uh, reflectors on it. And on the upper left at 75 yards is my other target stand that has four reflectors on it. So now let's look at the videos here. This first video is just going to look at the T50 versus the ATN IR illuminator. Right now there is no illumination and we're going to start the video here. And this is what the T50 turned on. I'm next going to work through the adjustment of the T50. And then I will work it back. Here in a second, I'm going to turn on the ATN and the T while the T50 is still on. We're still on the T50 right here. Okay, that's what the ATN turned on. And I just turned off the T50, turned it back on, turned it off. And now for the rest of the videos, I've decided to stick with the ATN and I'm probably never going to pull out the T50 again. We are now going to look at using the IR illuminators along with the ATN illuminator on the rifle. Now I want to point out the rifle is out there where you are looking at the ATN, but because I'm doing this testing and you're going to see me walking down there in front, there's no bolt carrier group, no firing pin, no magazine. The gun is completely unloaded. There's no ammo with me on this trip. Uh, this is not a functioning weapon. It's just a placeholder to hold the scope out there. So I just want to get that out of the way so no one worries about when they see me appear here shortly that I'm walking in front of the target site here. So as we start here again, as I said, we have in the lower right the 50 yard target. Upper left is the 75 yard target. I kind of sped this up so you don't have to watch the wait for me to walk down there the entire time. There I'm holding a handheld illuminator. This is uh, one of the two twins that I got off of Amazon. And right now I just set it on that target. I'm now walking out crossing the creek. I turn the other illuminator on. And now I'm just standing out here at the 75 yard target. And you can see how much more just putting that simple handheld uh, 18650 illuminator there helped illuminate in the area uh, projected. At this point, I'm going to turn off that illuminator and I'm going to plug in that big 96 uh, LED illuminator. 
and there you can see it turn on and you'll see at this point I walk out to there's a little logging road that walks out right about here and I'm gonna walk out to here and I'm not gonna cross the creek to go all the way out so I'm about 60 yard about 58 yards I believe what it is there I'm going to come back up because I'm kind of curious at this point what it looks like. And you'll see here, I'm going to turn off the ATN to see what it looks like just using the illuminator down there. I'm going to go down and see how much around that. And you can see that it goes out about 15 yards good from the... Uh, from the stand and you can actually see out to the 75 yard stand though it's not as good as when I put the illuminator on there but you can see the difference now I make a mistake here and not adjust back up so you can no longer see the top and the reflectors of the of the 75 yard stand but you can still see the legs of the stand so I'm going to again speed up as I walk down here and now I'm going to as you can see here, I'm walking up. I had that daylight uh, cell set up, and I'm disconnecting the 96. I'm right now trying to find out where I'm going to place this uh, handheld, and I decided to put it up on the top here. And while I'm also there, I also make an adjustment on the uh, IR uh, 96 and make it. I had it pointed down, and I'm trying to aim it up to see if that makes a difference. But right now, this is just that handheld day night set up at the 50 yard pointing out it's not as good as the 96 but it's still really impressively good and i can see putting a couple of these on a on a stand on a feeder or out there pointing opposite directions this will be this will be very beneficial if you want to do something simple like that or here you can see that I turned on the 96 light and I'm turning off the other ones. I'm going to walk out here to the 75 yard again. And again, accident on my part. I forgot that I daylight censored no switch that it was still on. And you can see that when you set up the light, you don't want it aimed back or you want something to keep it from coming back so it doesn't uh, flood out the night vision completely. But yet you can even see out there at 75 yards how much it improves out at a distance having an IR sense IR illuminator further out and I'm only at three magnification on the scope here this is a 3 by 14 Excite 4k and I'm only on the three so now I'm disconnecting the battery disconnecting the light grabbing the stuff up coming back up and that's just a quick look at a couple of the different IR illuminators I hope you enjoyed the video uh, Thanks for watching.